Hey there Cambridge Folk Festival, uh, a real pleasure to be here. I'm Sam Lee and today is World Environment Day and um, it's really wonderful that uh, Cambridge Folk Festival is celebrating this important day of the year. Um, I am going to be saying uh, a few things about the importance of celebrating and uh, also acknowledging our relationship to the environment and our duty to look after it. I'm going to wear my Music Declares Emergency Hat, which is the uh, the organisation I'm a co-founder of, um, trying to reform the uh, the impacts on the environment and uh, the Earth's resources of the music industry. And I'm really thrilled that Cambridge Folk Festival are a signature in that list of over two and a half thousand industry bodies, festivals, institutions, organisations and artists uh, to say that we collectively as a music community um, want to uh, firstly declare that there is a climate emergency going on right now and that we as a, as a union of believers in bringing about change of practice will get to carbon zero uh, output by 2030, 10 years to change the way we do that. Now what that means uh, for us all, for Cambridge, for you as a festival and also you audience members is about how we start to think about doing things differently um, and festivals are a very very powerful place for enacting change and alternatives. Um, they have the power to lead as they are doing all over the country and the world and the UK is pioneering more sustainable practices. Now amazingly uh, it's little known that actually 90% of all um, emissions that come out of festivals actually come from the transport involved in audience members getting there. However, I suspect that Cambridge Folk Festival is probably very different in that most of you cycle to Cambridge Folk Festival from the area. So you're probably doing really well in that matter. Uh, but others do come and maybe it's really worthwhile if you're a festival goer just thinking about how you uh, how you'll get how you're going to get there in 2021 when we can go back we hope um but there are many other things that are more important really than just those single acts which is what uh the festival can um initiate changes in what happens there that can also be brought back into people's lives when they go home and choices they make Simple things, in fact, about like the amount of meat that is consumed at festivals. Uh, it's an extraordinarily large amount and there are many festivals in the UK that are going uh, vegetarian, indeed vegan. And if you think about the amount of meat that is taken out the food chain uh, for, you know, four days for, for tens of thousands of people, we're talking about a lot of animals that aren't needing to be reared uh, and the expense that has on, um, on the environment. Uh, of the expenditure on 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 fuel and gas and water etc on uh, that comes off from the meat industry um that's something that we can all do uh every day is think about the amount of meat we eat um but i think one of the really exciting things is about the changes the composting loos where the waste comes goes where the electricity comes from all those things it's all very well Cambridge Folk Festival going, we're going to do this and we're going to change it. We're going to make you have your weekend different. But actually, what it needs to be is a, a, a dialogue between you, the audience members and the festivals, particularly the audience going, we want change. We want to see Cambridge Folk Festival do things differently. And if you do bring these challenges and and different sort of facilities and, uh, and uh, opportunities and concessions, that we will support you and we will give you our money. We will pay a little bit more to have organic food or sustainably uh, res uh, sourced food, uh, all traders. We will, um, we will go with you if, we, uh, if the ticket price has to go up a little bit to pay for the extra things to make sure that we are being as sensitive to the impacts of all the facilities and all the infrastructure that is brought in. And if that is uh, called upon through petitioning and through social media, um, what it means is that it's that it's not the festival forcing it upon us, the musicians and the listeners and the audience, but it's about all, all of us going hand in hand together. And if we do that collectively as a whole wider music community, that will obviously bring the price down of the ways that we do things uh, if they are more sustainable. So there is so much to happen, but the important thing for you as an audience um, is to 
call in that change, to be the change that you want to see in the world and at the festival and s celebrate those, uh, those differences that are being made and, uh, and spread that, those things that Cambridge do and other places do around. Um, that way we can actually uh, bring about the social uh, turnaround that we need to do through celebration and um, th uh, in times of joy and uh, good times. That's the way we're going to make the differences that we have to make easier. So um, well done Cambridge Folk Festival for all they're doing already. Uh, from, from my years of being there, I'm aware that they uh, work hard. You work hard at making it as environmentally uh, sustainable as is financially possible. Um, we all know we have to do a lot more and we have to start that now. Um, and uh, I want to say thank you very much to you all for firstly signing up for Music Declares. If you want to find out more about that, go to musicdeclares.net. If you're a musician, please sign up and find out ways you can be more environmentally sustainable. And if you want to learn more, listen to the Music Declares radio show that goes out once a month on Soho Radio that I am co-host alongside Faye Milton of the band Savages. And um, you can hear loads of incredible interviews with people like Peggy Seeger, who's been a climate pioneer for decades, uh, Pussy Riot, Heaven 17, incredible musicians from all waves. If you're a folk artist and believe in environmental sustainability, uh, get in touch with us. We want to hear your story. Thank you so much. I've been Sam Lee. Have a great uh, World Environment Day and see you at the next Cambridge Folk Festival. Bye-bye.